coming forward and they're off. And Victoria Milano finds herself in front going on from Jade de Grugy. Birdie or bust and brighter days ahead in the maroon white star and armlets. Back in the field is Majestic Force towards the inside, jumping flight number one, and Victoria Milano establishing a four or five length lead over Jade de Grugy in second in the hands of Paul Townend. Then market rival Brighter Days ahead and Jack Kennedy just third ahead of Birdie or Bust with Golden Ace on the outside of the grey Titanium Moon and then Majestic Force and finally Molly's Mango. A long run to the second flight and Victoria Milano and Jack Tudor, clear leaders here. From in second place, Jay de Grugy. Brighter days ahead, a little keen perhaps, just to the inside of Birdie or Bust, who goes forward ahead of Brighter Days Ahead, and maybe Jack Kennedy quite pleased about that to get a bit of cover. And then Golden Ace on the outside from Titanium Moon, Majestic Force, and Molly's Mango. Over the second, good jump by the leader, Victoria Milano who leads by three lengths, and J Jade de Grugy on the inside of Brighter Days Ahead, the two market rivals here in third and fourth placings as they make their way towards the back straight. Victoria Milano, not by so far, only a couple of lengths now to birdie or bust. Brighter Days Ahead on the outside of Jade de Grugy. Golden Ace, the West Country Raider, up into fifth place on the outside then, a Titanium Moon and Majestic Force, and Molly's Mango, is the back marker on towards a line of three flights of hurdles and victoria milano has made it all so far from birdie or bust on the outside jada gruji brighter days ahead then golden ace to the outside titanium moon molly's mango majestic force moving on to the next this is the fourth flight victoria milano comes in to take it just a uh, wrap the top bar big jump from majestic force at the back Victoria Milano, birdie or bust. Then Jade de Grugy on the inside of Brighter Days Ahead. They're both going well as they take the next flight. Uh, Brighter Days Ahead just fiddled slightly. Then Golden Ace on the outside of Titanium Moon. And still at the back, Molly's Mango and Majestic Force. On round the top left-hand turn and uh, approaching the third last flight of hurdles. A very long way from the finish on this new course. And it's Victoria Milano by a couple of lengths. To Birdie or Bust in second. Jade or Jade de Grugy on the inside of Brighter Days Ahead. Then Titanium Moon over three out. Good jump by Jade de Grugy particularly. Golden Ace on the outside, Majestic Force and Molly's Mango. Soon they'll be swinging left-handed and heading on down the hill. And Victoria Milano and Birdie or Bust, they remain the first two. And they're just chased up by Jade de Grugy and Brighter Days Ahead, who are both traveling smoothly. So two Golden Ace on the outside, Titanium Moon. In fact, the race has really yet to, begun, to begin in earnest as they race on now, straighten up for the second last flight down the hill. Victoria Milano, a length of Birdie or Bust. Brighter Days Ahead and Jade de Grugy both poised to challenge. Then behind these, Majestic Force towards the inside. Golden Ace a little wider in that check jacket. Wider still, Molly's Man. Mango and Titanium Moon. This is the second last. Birdie or bust from Victoria Milano. Birdie or bust a little untidy. Jade de Grugy a bit short of room on landing there. Uh, Brighter Days Ahead is ahead of her. Golden Ace coming there strongly on the outside and wider out is Molly's Mango. They head now round the turn. Long run to the final flight and it's Birdie or bust that leads the way in the hands of Rachel Blackmore. Challenged by Brighter Days Ahead. Jade de Grugy towards the far side. Coming near side is Golden Ace who's still travelling well as they still run on towards the final flight. Still 100 yards off it. Golden Ace on the near side. A brighter days ahead. In the centre, Birdie or Bust on the far side is Jade de Grugy. Much will depend on this final leap. Golden Ace, brighter days ahead. Birdie or Bust far side. And then Jade de Grugy race up towards the line now. It's Golden Ace on the near side. A brighter days ahead. We're going to have a turn up for West Country trainer Jeremy Scott. Possibly the best he's trained. It's Golden Ace! Who wins the dawn run? The Ryanair novices hurdle in second brighter days ahead from Birdie or Bust and Jade de Grugy.
He's just soaking it in. Jeremy Scott with his first festival success with Golden Ace in the Ryanair Dawn Run. Many congratulations. I can see you lost for words. It's so marvellous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's an emotional moment. I mean, I thought last year coming second with dear old Drasha Drasha was something, but yeah, no, this is very, very, very special. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Dad. Talk me through your emotions as you were watching that race. It just was travelling so well. I mean, her jumping wasn't great. I mean, she jumped the last one, the, probably the best of the lot. Um, but, you yeah, know, she just travelled well and, yeah, always looked, looked to have them covered, didn't she? She really did, and that coolness that Lorcan showed as well, alongside Jack Kennedy on the big favourite, the talking horse by today's ahead. What were you thinking then? Well, I just, I, Lorcan's such a talent. I mean, he's, you know, he's got a really cool head on him. He's a natural horseman and he's, you know, he is a cracking bloke on top of a horse. So, you know, I'm really glad that he's had the opportunity to shine a bit and uh, hopefully um, other trainers will use him as well. well hopefully they will. And, and tell me about this mare. Is she always showing that sparkle to you? I mean, she's not one that tears the gallops up, in all honesty, but the racing has always been really good. And, and, and you know, she was so cool and calm in the paddock. You know, she takes everything in a stride and it's just such an asset, isn't it? Absolutely it is. And what do you think she might be now? I mean, she's already a grade two winner at the Cheltenham Festival, your first festival winner. What might she be? Well, who knows? I mean, I, you know, it doesn't look like she'll jump a fence anyway. But, <laughs> so I think we'll stick with the hurdles. But, yeah, no, we've got lots to dream about and we'll uh, enjoy this moment and, uh, yeah, reflect on it tomorrow and think of a good plan. And have a bit of a party this evening? Oh, you know, I just... <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> and a word for Dasha Drasher as well in the stay at home. Yeah, actually, I mean, he's finished um, closer to everything that's been beating him this year. So I, I think he's actually run really well. We tried slightly different tactics, just holding him up so he'd come up the hill a bit better, and I think he did. Um, so, you know, he's probably run very well for him. Um, you know, we're just beaten by younger Irish horses. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'll let you soak it all up as Golden Ace comes into the winner's enclosure for your first festival success. Many congratulations. We're absolutely thrilled for you, and I'm sure you'll do your best at the well, party tonight. I'm so thrilled with the yard and my family who are all involved. So, yeah, yeah it's a super moment. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Golden Ace is a second festival success for Lorcan Williams, the first having come in unexpected circumstances when amateurs couldn't ride in the Fox Hunters and he was on board Porlock Bay. This one, <laughs> this one is, was more, well, well, how expected was that? I mean, you must have been confident that she was going to run a really great game. Yeah, no, definitely. We were, we were always quietly confident after a wind up, she improved masses amount at home and just everything was a lot sharper. Um, the one question mark we had was her jumping, but... I mean, the further she went today, the better she, she sort of got. Um, but look, I mean, I was watching the racing and seeing the Irish and I was thinking, Clog, can we really do it? And then the race sort of went out of my head and my main goal was just to sort of watch the main danger and just don't get there until the last sort of. And she got so much turn of pace. When it, there was no pace during the race, I was absolutely delighted. And no fair play, she winged the last and stayed on until the line. Really, she really did win the last, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She was very quick, very accurate. She doesn't waste no time in the air. So um, she, I was just praying for a stride, and I was hoping that, that there was one there. And thank God it was the right one, and we, we flew, flew, and it was an amazing feeling. And you were alongside the big threat, the big Irish talking horse by today's ahead, and Jack Kennedy outcooling Jack Kennedy. That takes some doing. I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know if it's out cooling or more just uh, behind the bridle myself, but um, no, nah, look, it, uh, she, was, she was fantastic on the day and I'm just delighted for the Jeremy Scott team and Mr Ian Gosden, who's a massive uh, massive player of ours and uh, it's just uh, fantastic for the team back, back at home and it's only a small yard and we have a handful of horses, but I mean, we just try to do as well as we can with them. Punch way above the weight. Uh, yeah, look, oh, you? well, they just, the horses have plenty of TLC, the girls all love them at home and they just seem to thrive and Jeremy does fantastically with Mez as, as you've seen through his, his strike rate so here's another one hopefully. And thinking back to your first vessel success, how does this compare? Oh, look, it, it's a fantastic feeling to get a, a, a Cheltenham Festival winner. Obviously today with the crowd it's, it's, it's an even more greater feeling so I didn't think I'd get another one, so to get another one's uh, amazing. So, yeah, just over the moon. I'm riding like that. I think you'll get many, many more. I think everyone's seen your talents there. And so you, it's a good point that you mentioned. Last time when you came back on a winner, no crowd. It's not the same kind of buzz. So what was that like? It, 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 very strange, to be honest, because, I mean, when I had my first winner here, a lot of my friends from the weighing room came out and they applauded me in, which was a massive thrill. And the same's happened today. So... It's just the emotion, I think, is, is, is the massive player. Just everybody, when you're coming back in, faces you don't know, saying well done and so forth. It, 
really boosts your ego. So hopefully my head doesn't get too big, but it's amazing. I think, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, many congratulations. That was absolutely brilliant. Well done, Norton. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.